Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for all the years you've been with us. Um, I really appreciate what you've done, especially for all of us. But um, being there for me as a, you know, someone to provoke my thoughts, to make me delve deeper into, you know, what we really believe. I loved when you played devil's advocate. And um, I'm glad that you're kind of growing up into uh, a new ministry position along with us and that we'll be able to uh, work alongside each other. Hi, Matt. Um, I just want to say thanks for all that you've done for me. Ever since I've started coming to Journey, you've been so welcoming, and you've just made me a part of your family and a part of this family. We're really going to miss you, and I'm glad you're still going to be here, but I'm so excited to see what's next for you. Thanks. Hello, Matt. It's us, the Alexandras. <laughs> and we would just like to say thank you for everything you, that you've done. You yes, know, thank you. we are both spicy because she has red hair, and I'm just a, you know, that's just who I am. <laughs> So we just want to say thank you for all the memories and thank you for your time and commitment. Thanks, Matt. We love you. Yes. <laughs> hey, Matt. I'm just, just coming to say like hi and that I love you and that we all love you and that honestly you're like one of the people I think that has had such a big standing in all of our lives. Um, you're like one of, that thing that, one of those things that's like a constant. I just want to say thank you for being a constant. Thanks, Matt. I just wanted to say thank you for um, being our youth pastor, and I don't know what to do with my hands right now, so thanks. <laughs> hey, Matt. So I heard you were leaving, and you know as much as I do that it's pretty crazy that I'm involved in middle school and in the church as much as I am. And working in middle school, I've realized how much patience it took for you to deal with me, and I'm just so grateful for that. I really look up to you, and I hope that in your new job, you can influence as many people as you did in my life. Hey Matt, so it's been a long time since uh, I've actually been one of your mentees, but uh, I just want to say that I really appreciate that um, ever since I was in middle school, um, you've been a, a great mentor for me, and even now that I'm in college, you're keeping up with me, and um, you know, coming back and, and hanging out with you, it's it's had a real impact on my life, and I know you've been impacting a lot of people's lives. Well, Matt, you, uh, before impact and before reverb and everything, sorry, we were just running, um, we uh, kind of got to know each other more so at Element, and it's safe to say Beck and I, we were pretty awkward and we were just weird, um, but you still <laughs> put up with us, and... Uh, uh, from that, we just kind of got to know each other more, and you just bought me some pretty awesome records. So um, just thank you so much for everything you've done and continue to do. So, hey. yeah. Um, hey, Matt. Um, I just wanted to thank you for um, all the stuff that you've done in my life. Um, middle school was a really good time, and Reverb and Power Up were probably, like, the highlights of all of that. And if it hadn't been for Power Up, I would have met this kid, so... That's pretty cool. You had a hand in that. Mm -hmm. um, and you've just been a really awesome influence in my life, and I have really appreciated having you. So thank you very much. Hi, Matt. It's me, Megan, and my mom, Robin. We appreciate um, your, your, um, your nice and very nice, and we think we, we're going to miss you being our, me and my family are going to miss you being uh, our uh, youth minister. And, we, we love your family very much, and thank you very much for being with us for, for all this time. And we love you, and thank you. You rock, Matt. Thank you for raising my kids the way you did. We love you. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Matt. This is uh, J-Dog. And uh, I would say it's been a lot of fun, but it's not over. We had a lot of fun. Um, goes back to the days uh, when you were in high school and I'm sure um, I guess it started when I gave my testimony and uh, revealed myself and uh, we had a lot of fun at CIY and of course uh, our big thing was uh, David Crowder band and uh, having fun with that also with all the pranks that we did or that was done then, of course, uh, it, it was a little while uh, just being out of it. And then you decided, or we talked about uh, going to the middle school conference together. 
obviously again seeing David Crowder and uh, we was able to reunite and I was able to get back into youth group. This is a new season for you. Um, there are bigger and better things and uh, I'm looking forward to continuing life with you in a, a different way. So I'm sure it's just as hard as you, or actually harder for you than it was for me to uh, be, to let this go, let this season go. So, um, but I'm here for you and I always will be. Thank you, Matt, for all that you have done for Reverb. I remember um, before it was even called Reverb when you announced that at youth group, you had your microphone and you went, Reverb, verb, 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 verb. Um, and it has just been awesome to be able to serve with you and learn from you over the years. So thanks so much for everything you've done. Matt, uh, you're one of the good ones. I should probably say more. Um, yeah, man, uh, in all reality, I'm really proud of you, dude. And um, I'm uh, really proud of what you've been doing and where you're going. Um, and yeah, I just I love what God's done through you in uh, the student ministry already. Um, I've always been really inspired and just uh, really respected the way that you always look for uh, new and more effective ways to bring the gospel to these students. And um, <clears throat> that's something I always want to try and incorporate too and uh so i really i've always respected seeing you have that be a big passion of yours and uh man i remember as a student i walked in uh to what was fusion and man i was a punk and you knew it uh but for whatever reason uh you decided to love on a troublemaker and um man it was your uh consistency and your genuine genuine concern for my growth as a Christian and as a leader, um, it, it helped me to understand the gospel uh, in a time where I didn't know it. And um, so thanks, man. Uh, I'm glad that you're not going anywhere and that this isn't like a super sad moment because uh, I really look forward to seeing what ministry with you is going to be like in the near future. Hey, man. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. Um, it's kind of weird like having even a video because there's no way that I'm ever going to be able to tell you thanks enough. Um, you've been my youth pastor my entire life. Um, and if you hadn't have been there for me on many occasions, I have no idea where I would be right now. So, I mean, you know me, it's kind of weird to like get emotional for me. So just so you know, if I was capable of crying right now, I would be crying. But um, I'm so happy for you as you're moving into your future, and thank you so much for everything you've done for me, your leadership, your friendship, everything. Thanks, man. Hey, Matt. Uh, man, I'm just so excited for what God has in store for you. Uh, man, it's been awesome getting to know you and to do ministry when I was an intern, intern Eddie with Dunzo and all those other things. You've been a great friend to me. Um, man, hosting that surprise going away party was truly, truly amazing. Um, man, I'm just so excited. I'm so grateful for what you um, are allowing me to do to take over Reverb and the high school ministry. And so I just say thanks. And I just want to say that I love you and I'm excited for what God has in store uh, for you. So we love you, Matt. And, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll have you back numerous times. I know I'll be picking your brain for student ministry ideas. Cause you're the, you're like, um, Mark, what's that? What's that? Uh, the star Wars Jedi, Jedi guy. What? Well, no, the little midget dude. Oh, Yoda. Yoda. You're like the Yoda of student ministry, Matt. And I'm just like the little, little Padawan guy that's trying to learn. So um, I'll be picking your brain and everything. Uh, but just want to say we love you and um, thanks for everything that you have done. Hey, Matt. So proud of the man and pastor that you have uh, developed into and matured into over these last nine years. Uh, it's been quite a nine years full of experience and lots of fun. And we're just so excited to see what the future holds for, for us as a family and ministry. Uh, we love you so much. 
Hey guys, Pastor Mitch here. What a privilege it is to be able to share a few words about my dear friend, uh, Pastor Timothy Matthew Sanders II. You probably just know him as uh, Pastor Matt. Uh, But man, to say that uh, I love that guy would be an understatement. Uh, He and I have been friends and uh, co-workers and brothers uh, for a very, very long time. And uh, man, I can remember, I have so many memories that I could share. I could probably talk for an hour uh, about him. But I can remember when I first met Matt, I was a youth leader uh, and he was a middle school student. He came in as a middle school student. And uh, I can remember thinking what a punk he was. He was uh, kind of like this Michael Jordan in sync hybrid. He had all this Nike gear on, but then he had uh, this in sync hair, like with frosted tips and everything. And I can remember just looking across at him him at the gym saying, what is this punk kid doing? Um, So didn't really start off well between he and I, but over the years, uh, that all changed. Um, Once you get to know Matt, once I got to know him, really just found out he was an awesome guy. He had such a funny sense of humor, but at the same time, he was so serious uh, about uh, life, about God, about his faith. And uh, that just just grew over the years. And uh, he became a punk from a went from a punk middle school student to a leader in our youth group, and then after he graduated high school, he just continued to be uh, a leader. And you could just tell that God uh, had His hand on on Matt, and that He was calling him to do something uh, very special. And I think we've seen that uh, happen uh, since he went into ministry. I can remember when I was asked to come on. Um, staff and to become a full-time pastor, one of the, the negotiating uh, items that I brought to the table, I said, hey, I I can come and I will come, but one of the conditions is that I got to bring my buddy Matt with me. And uh, Matt was working at the bank at that time. Uh, and I can remember that conversation. And he said, hey, if, if you want me, I'm in. And uh, since then, uh, God has just done tremendous things, not only confirmed the calling on Matt's life, but has used him uh, in so many ways to change lives and to advance um, the, the, the gospel. He is um, he's a great teacher, great communicator of God's word. Um, he loves people. He loves the church. Uh, I know he loves every single one of the students that God uh, gives to him. Uh, at, at you know through the over the years to the youth group, he's loved on them and cared on them uh, in uh, in very very cool ways. And uh, God's used him, like I said, to change a lot of lives. And uh, he is not only an amazing pastor, but he is a tremendous uh, husband to his wife Amanda and uh, awesome father to the kids. And um, I just I really I can't be I can't say enough good things about him. And uh, I love him. I'm really thankful and grateful to be able to call him uh, not just a co-laborer in the ministry, but to call him my friend and my brother. And I can't wait to see what God's going to do with him next. Just I know for a, for a fact that uh, God's going to use him to do big things. And I can't wait to see what that next uh, chapter holds. So, Pastor Matthew Sanders, if you're watching this, I love you, brother. And I uh, can't wait to see what God has in store. Have a great one.